What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take a basic shop vac and with a little bit of modification, turn it into a shampooing monster. This is gonna be how to convert your basic shop vac into a carpet extractor. Now there's a couple of videos online already about how to build out this extractor system. Um, and I have a basic diagram for you here, guys. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. But basically, you buy an extension wand, you attach it using a slip cover that attaches onto your hose, then you have your vacuum hose specifically that runs into your vacuum, right? That's the suction side. Then we go into the spraying side of what actually injects the water, that's what makes an extractor, right? And that will be the wand. Again, you'll need one wand. I put two on here just for the diagram, but there's only one needed. You go into the next item, that is a quick coupler that will attach to the extractor wand. Then you got some basic Teflon tape that you can use just to get everything nice and tight. So you can attach that quick coupler to an air hose, which will actually carry the water through the system. And then basically at the end of that, you have a little connection point that'll attach onto a garden hose. Now, who is this modification for? Really, it's for the majority of people out there. Now, as a professional, I use a Mighty Light 8070 heated carpet extractor. It's a whole individual unit and has a heater, a pump. The whole system is built in, but it's around 1300 bucks, I think. And not everyone can justify that, right? I do a lot of volume, so it makes sense to me. But if you're not doing that kind of volume, you wanna get into the carpet extraction, shampooing seats, all that kind of good stuff, this is an awesome way to do it. And also to keep your space down, right? You don't have to have a bunch of different units. You can just take this mod and add it into your existing shop vac. Now this complete DIY system of how to do it is cool. It works fantastic. Um, I have it all here. I'm gonna link, it's actually listed item one, item two. I'm gonna link all this stuff down in the description for you guys so you can order it if you want. But the cool thing about this video is I have a setup from a brand called Rip Clean and they do all that for you. And the best part about Rip Clean is I priced all this out. This comes to about $240 with this Mighty Extractor Wand. Now you can get cheaper ones, but then you're compromising some quality. Um, this one's built well. I know that for a fact because that's the one that's on my Mighty Extractor. But again, this comes to 240 bucks. You have to put it all together, all that kind of stuff. The kit from Rip Clean is here, guys. You get an awesome crush proof hose. You get the extractor wand itself. And as you can see, this is the slip cover I was talking about rotates and you can actually just slide that onto your hose. So it's, it's threaded, you just stick it in there and then tighten it down and you'll be good to go. Now the quality components that this kit comes with are phenomenal, really guys, I, I'm very, very, very impressed with it. Even just this rubberized coating that attaches to, this is where your, uh, your hose will connect so the, the water injects or uh, comes out of this little nozzle here. Phenomenal, the, the wand is nice and clear so that you can see all the dirt contamination and most importantly, all the foam from the soap coming out so you don't leave any behind. Now with this kit, you can choose between a 25 foot water hose, 50 foot water hose. I think they even have a 100 foot. If, don't quote me on that, I don't remember for sure. But 25 and 50 for sure. And this hose works super well with a rigid shop vacs, uh, the majority of shop vacs out there. They actually have a listed on, on their site of what it works with, but um, I haven't found one personally yet that I, it doesn't work with. That new DeWalt Stealth Sonic shop vac that I just did a review on, I'll link up here for you guys, works on that. So this thing is phenomenal and the price is amazing. It actually comes to less than if you were to piece the whole system together like this. I think the kit is 230 or 245, depending on, on the length of hose that you get for the water. But again, you don't have to deal with anything. So for me, right, time is money, and the fact that this already comes done is really cool. I also like the gray hose versus the orange hose that I would be using from the Rigid Vac. Um, just the gray is clean, it looks really good, I like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this and show you guys exactly how to put it together so that you can get to work and start extracting. Again, not everybody needs to extract every car. Even me, I personally don't extract every car. And you may be wondering, is this a better option than the Bissell Spot Clean Pro? In my personal opinion, yes. The biggest factor for me is good water injection, but the most, most important thing is that it has really good extraction power, good suction, right? And the suction power on the Bissell Spot Clean, Spot Clean Pro isn't fantastic. It does the job, but it's not fantastic versus I'm gonna be using this, this vacuum here is a six and a half horsepower uh, motor. Tons of suction, it's gonna pull all that water out so you're not leaving the surfaces of your carpets uh, and seats too wet. This will be able to dry them out much faster so that everything's back to normal. Okay guys, so there's one very, very important thing you wanna do to your shop vac before you use it as an extractor, and that is replace the filter with a wet filter. Otherwise, the other one's gonna get completely saturated, it's gonna lose performance immediately, it's gonna get all funky and fungusy. So these are different, right? Normal filters are kind of like a paper material. This one's like a nice textured foam. So this is what you want. Make sure to use this, and then when you're done using it, you can take this out, rinse it off, put your normal one back in, and continue vacuuming as normal. But again, for the extractor, you wanna get one of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this off, throw this on there, and then we'll be good to go. That'll be ready to use. 
So we're just easily slide on. Now there's different fitments for different brands. Uh, Ridge is really easy, it just pops right over the top, secures down, and I'm good to go. Now I'm gonna link all this stuff for you guys down in the description so it's super easy for you to find. You don't have to go searching for it. Okay, now the vacuum is set up, guys. That's, that's all we need to do. As far as the wand goes, remember we attached the wand, just screwed it right on, super simple. We have the suction piece here, the, the portion where it sprays out the water here. And all we do is attach this as a normal hose. Done. Now the final step to set this up is we're getting, now we need to attach our water system so that we can actually inject water and rinse everything out as we're extracting, right? So this is the hose that they give you. Again, they have different sizes you can get, but basically everything's built super, super nice. You can see it's even on a swivel. So you have the basic quick connect here. That will connect to the wand itself. So we just kind of take that, pop it right over the top, boom, we are connected. Now, all we have to do is connect the water line to our water source, and right here, it's straight to a normal garden hose connection. You can also use this, like for me, I have a mobile uh, detail setup, I have a tank, and I have a little spigot that comes off, I can attach it there. The pressure just from a gravity fed system will inject water, it's not gonna be a ton of water, um, so if you have a little pump, that's even better, but it will work just, just with the uh, natural gravity fed system. Now before I go and hook this up to water, I'm going to actually take the hose, just because I want this to be clean, right? It's, an, it's an already two different pieces going two different ways. And I personally don't like that. I want this to be clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the length of the vacuum hose, I'm gonna Velcro this on in a couple different spots so it stays nice and clean. The, the remainder of it obviously is gonna run off to my water source, so no worries there. But where I'm working, I want this to be nice and clean. Now it comes with some Velcro, but I actually like getting these little Velcro rolls here. They just attach to themselves. You can just pull it off. It's one long piece, so I'll just trim it down to size. Put it in as many spots as I want and we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna do one right up here, right at the, at the entrance here. So I'm just gonna fold it over, Velcro it down. That's good. Just put enough so that it's not gonna let go. Clip that back and there we are. All right, so there's number one. It's holding everything in place nicely. Now I'm just gonna go down the line. I'll probably add, you know, four or five throughout the whole length of the hose. Just sort of above about, I don't know, my personal preference here, probably about 18 inches or so. Now again, you could use something else here, you guys, you could use zip ties or whatever. I like to use this Velcro because it's soft, you don't have to worry about it, especially when you're going into a car. You don't want the edge of a zip tie being sharp and scratching the car, so that's why I like using this Velcro. Okay, so now that that's all in line and set up and nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and take the long end of the water hose, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my garden hose spigot right out front, and then we're gonna extract and show you guys how well this thing works. Now it's important to make sure that you do have the little gasket in there so that it doesn't leak. It comes with it, but just make sure it doesn't pop out on you. There you go, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on. Okay, so as you saw, everything is attached at the water source now. I have my sprayer here. Water's on, nothing is coming out until I pull the trigger. There we go, let it purge out and then boom. Look at that nice fine mist. I mean, I don't wanna spray it at the camera, but it is a very, very nice fine mist. Decent pressure, not overly, that it's gonna completely saturate, but enough to be able to kind of loosen everything up and get to work. Now once again guys, I just have my basic piece of carpet here. Again, I'm gonna throw some muscle milk in this so that you guys can actually see dirt and everything, all the color from that getting pulled out of this thing. All right guys, here is the muscle milk, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and pop that open. There we go, pour it right on here. And we'll work it in. Now, this is a wet stain, right? So I really shouldn't even have to uh, use any sort of a chemical or, or agitation or anything. Because it's wet, I'm gonna use the extractor, it's gonna re-wet the area and suck it up at the same time so that we don't have any uh, set-in stains. Now, if you have a set-in stain, obviously you do wanna pre-treat it with a chemical. Use a drill brush, get that agitated, we'll do that. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll just go from here, right? We'll take this half piece, I'll extract this. This other piece up here, we're gonna let sit and then we'll use the whole uh, uh, drill brush on it. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and fire on the vacuum. Again, this is already ready with the water, right? So I'm just gonna fire on the vacuum and I'm gonna go from this portion here. Let me go ahead and move this so you guys can actually see. Uh, go from this portion here all the way back. The stains are all the way through here. Uh, let me grab a video on my phone real quick so you guys can see that better. So as you can see, normal carpet. Here's all the brown staining from the muscle milk. This line is where I'm gonna stop, right? I'm just gonna go from here down. Extract all this using the water injection and the extraction from the vacuum. And then this, we're gonna let set in and then I'll use the drill brush on, on that with a chemical and then extract that. So all you do is pull the trigger, it's gonna inject water and then suck right behind it. So here we go. Ah. 
As you can see, all that dirt and debris and just crud is coming up. All right, and as you guys can already see, the contamination here compared to here, it's completely gone. It's still dirty over there. I only vacuumed this one side. Again, because I'm injecting water, I'm loosening up the uh, muscle milk and then sucking it away. So really quickly with my phone here, guys, there's the spot that I'm letting set in. Here is the line, and as you can see, one side versus the other. This side's completely clean. This side still has the stains. Let's get back to work. I'm gonna fire this back on. Let's start vacuuming again. Here we go. So I'm gonna, it's sitting there. I'm gonna pull the trigger. Now you can see everything's starting to loosen up, pull through, and you can see it's lifting it all up. Again, rinsing it away, and I'm pulling it out, and actually removing all that stuff. Let's see here, we'll keep going, picking up a little bit of stuff there. But for the most part, it's getting pretty clear now, which means the stain is removed. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Now, what I like to do, guys, is just to it did a fantastic job of not leaving this too saturated because as soon as we're injecting water, we're sucking it out, right? But just to help everything dry up even faster, now I will take just a couple passes completely just in vacuum. I will not pull the trigger. I'm not injecting any more water. I'm just going to vacuum it and pull out any residual uh, leftover moisture. All right, guys, so there it is. We're going to go ahead and let this part dry now, the part that uh, still has the muscle milk on it. We're going to let that set into the fibers of the carpet. Then we'll come through, uh, agitate with a chemical, with the drill brush, and then extract, and just show you that process as well. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's been some time now, so I'm going to go ahead and treat this other area of the carpet that is, still has the stain that is set in, again, with a chemical and a drill brush. So the chemical I'm gonna be using today is Interior Buster from CarGlow. This is an all-purpose, like complete interior cleaner. Stuff works amazing. It says right on here, ready to use for leather, plastic, and upholstery. Mild foaming capabilities. That is a key point here, guys. It's gonna foam up decently well when you're cleaning other surfaces, but on your carpets, when you're extracting, you don't want a high foaming uh, solution because that's gonna clog up your filter. It's gonna fill your tank with a bunch of foam and start failing prematurely because it's gonna clog that filter. So just get a decent uh, uh, cleaner that doesn't have a ton of foaming capability. I like this one, especially when I'm just doing spot cleans. If I'm doing a full blown extraction, I'll go with a specific carpet extractor solution. But in most cases, guys, this is what I'm using here. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the interior buster, spray it on liberally, right? You wanna make sure you're penetrating and getting into that stain, right? So we're just gonna spray it. Good to go there. Just make sure I'm getting good coverage, especially on this line where it's a little more saturated. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my drill brush and hit it. And again, what this is doing is taking that stain that's set into the carpet fibers, helping to break it down and dissolve it and loosen it up. Then when we go in with the extractor, it's gonna continue to loosen it with the uh, injection of the water and rinse all the chemical away along with the stain. Now there are tons of situations where that's all I'll do. Then I'll hit it with a microfiber towel, mop it up, and it'll be good for little stains. But for a situation like this, especially on your carpets, especially with something like muscle milk that has organic material in it, you don't want it sitting in there. You don't want that smell coming out because of it. So we gotta rinse it away. So that's what we're gonna do. Again, here's the extractor. It's already on. For the water, I'm gonna turn the vacuum on and start sucking this away. And as you can see, the foaming action is lifting all that stuff out, but you can also see all the brown that's coming out with it, right? So that's the muscle milk that's broken down and we're sucking it away along with the chemical. All right, so there you have it, guys. As you can see, that thing does an amazing job of injecting water, loosening up the stain, and rinsing it all the way. Fantastic option, especially if you don't want to carry an additional unit. If you're not too worried about the heated element or you don't want to spend a thousand plus dollars on a heated uh, extractor like I have, 
this is a phenomenal option. Now again, the interior buster foamed up a little bit too much for me. I did overly saturate it because the stain was so set in. Um, but again, you, if you just get a basic extractor solution, it's not gonna have such high foaming. They actually have carpet thrasher from Rip Clean as well um, that works phenomenal. Um, I, I've used a ton, I mean, you can, get, you can even go to Home Depot and get a basic uh, extractor solution. Um, those work well, uh, but interior buster I love for kind of all purpose all around the car as well. It smells super good and works phenomenally well. So let's go ahead and go outside real quick and empty out the vacuum so you can see all the dirt and just nastiness that pulled out of this carpet. All right guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and empty it into this bucket. I'm just gonna release this and let, let me pour, there we go, here we go. You can already see the nastiness that is coming out of this thing. Now to be fair guys, some of that was probably leftover dirt from inside, but it extracted so much nasty uh, milk. And then when you take that and dilute it with a bunch of water, Obviously, it seems like even more product than was originally there, so it did a fantastic job. If you can see, though, there is a little bit of foam in there. Um, so again, a lower extraction uh, or an extraction type of cleaner that has a low foaming agent, that's what you really want when you use an extractor. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, now last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open and remove the filter, rinse it out, and store it to the side until I need a wet filter again. That way, otherwise, it can get kind of smelly and just, you know, over time. Um, so I just wanna keep that clean. But that's it, guys, the Rip Clean kit. Um, it's a phenomenal deal. It, it comes out to less money than if you were to piece it all together yourself like I did here. Um, I'm gonna link it to directly to their website um, where it's, it is slightly cheaper. It's about $15 cheaper on their website versus on Amazon because free shipping probably. So, But if you need a solution for a carpet extractor, this is better than a Bissell Spot Clean Pro in my personal opinion. Sucking out way more water, has way more capabilities with a larger tank. You're not just using, filling up that little, little uh, tank on the Bissell Spot Clean Pro. Now there are other options like the VacMaster 3-in-1. That's also a good option. I like that thing a lot. It's about 200 bucks, so you're in about the same price range. The only downfall with that is, especially if you're mobile, you're gonna have a vacuum unit and then you're gonna have the whole extractor unit. So it's nice, if you're limited on space, this is the absolute perfect option. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that it helps. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.